Hi everybody. Today we are going to learn how to calculate tax, tip, and commission. We will start with taxes and specifically for this lesson we are looking at sales tax. Sales tax is additional money charged on certain purchases. The money that's charged on those purchases goes to the government and then they use that money to pay for things like roads, police and fire, certain health programs, and more. The sales tax rates depend on the state, and in some cases, local communities also have a sales tax. In Michigan, we just have the statewide sales tax, and the rate is 6%. So to calculate with sales tax, the first thing that you're going to do is multiply the cost of the item by the tax percentage rate, which we will need to change to decimal form first, and that will give you the amount of taxes collected. After that, you will add that amount to the purchase price to see what the total of the amount due is. So in the example here, it says to figure the sales tax of 5% on a $2 item. We start by multiplying $2 times 0 0.05 in decimal form, and that gives us 10 cents. The total amount due then is found by adding $2.10, and that gives us $2.10. Here's a couple of examples. The first one, we've got this $12 stapler that has a tax rate of 6%. So we'll multiply 12 times 6% as a decimal, which is 0 0.06, and that gives us 72 cents. To find the total amount due, you add the purchase price, $12, plus the 72 cents that's collected for taxes, and that gives $12.72 for the total amount due. In the next example, we've got a TV that costs $105, so we're gonna take 105, multiply that by the tax rate as a decimal, 0 0.07. That equals $7.35. Now we add the $7.35 to the cost of the TV, which gives $112.35. Another type of problem that we can solve when dealing with sales tax is to determine what the tax rate is. So in this example, we've got a $10 pair of sunglasses, and when you go to the checkout, it comes out to $10.45. The difference between those two amounts is 45 cents. So we know that whatever the tax rate is, it is going to um, increase the purchase price by 45 cents. So we can think about this question here, 45 cents is what percent of $10? We can translate that question into an equation by writing 45 cents, so 45 cents as a decimal, is is equals, 45 cents is what percent, that's our unknown, of is times $10. Now to solve, we want to isolate x, so we're going to undo the times 10 by dividing by 10. And whatever you do to one side, you do, the, do, do to the other side as well. On the right side, 10 divided by 10 makes a 1, and 1x one is just x, so x is equal to um, 0.45 divided by 10. What we're going to do is shift the decimal to the left one place to divide by 10, and that gives us 0 0.045. Now, because we are talking about a tax rate, which is a percent, we are going to multiply our answer here by 100, which is shifting the decimal back to the right two places. And that gives us 4.5% for the tax rate, wherever these sunglasses were purchased. Okay, the next topic in this lesson is tips. Tips are, um, tip, a tip is an additional amount of money paid for a service. So the most common place that we see tips would probably be at a restaurant. So you are, tipping the server for providing the service of delivering, taking your order, delivering your meal. Other places that have tips include hair salons, car washes, lawn service companies. There's a whole bunch out there. A tip is also based on a percentage of the cost of the service. Um, unlike sales tax, however, tips are, uh, the amount of the tip is up to the consumer. So if we're talking about restaurants, typically most people leave between 15 and 20%. Um, it's up to the, 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 con the consumer as far as how they think the service was as to exactly what they want to leave. So to calculate tips, you multiply the percentage that you want to leave in decimal form 
by the total, and that will give you um, the amount of tips. Then you add that amount to that subtotal. We call it a subtotal because it's the, the amount before everything is added together. So you add the tip amount to the subtotal, and that will give you your grand total. Most people, though, when, when dealing with tips, they estimate the sales price and then they um, round the numbers to make it a nice even number that they're leaving for a tip. In this example, there's a food receipt here for $25 and you want to leave a 15% tip on that. So in this thought bubble I have here, first you can use 10% as a benchmark because it's just a shift of the decimal. If you can find 10% mentally, and then you can cut that in half to determine the other 5%, and then you would just combine those two totals to see what 15% is. So if this bill is $25, I know that 10% is taking a tenth of this amount, so we would just shift the decimal to the left one place, and that gives us 2.5 or $2.50 since we're talking about money. 10% is 250, so the other 5% would be half of that amount. Half of 250 is $1.25. So to figure out the combined amount, 15%, we would take the 10% 250 and the 5% $1.25 and add those, $3.75. So a lot of people would probably just round that up to $4, but it depends on the person. Some leave the exact amount, some round up, some might round down. It's based on the service and how much you want to leave. In these examples, we have, um, it says to estimate a 20% tip on each of the following food bills. So the first guest check shows that the amount of, of the meal came to $42.95. So most people would probably round that up to $43. In order to figure out a 20% tip, I can use 10% as a benchmark, and I know that that's just a tenth of this number, and we shift the decimal to the left one place. So 10% is $4.30. To get 20%, since 20 is twice as much as 10, we can just double the amount by adding 430 to itself or multiplying 430 by 2. So the amount of tip for this particular bill would be $8.60. And again, some people would just say $8, some might say call it $9 because it's all based on your uh, opinion of the service and how much you want to leave. It's really up to you. The next one, we've got $31.77 for our total. So probably we would look at basing the tip off of a $32 bill. If we want to take 10% first, we just move the decimal to the left one place. So 10% is $320. To find 20%, on this bill, we would just double that amount. So another 320 would give us $6.40. And then if you choose to do six, seven, exactly 640, that's up to you. Okay, and the last topic in this lesson is commission. So commission is also based on percentage and it's a percent of money based on the value of an item that is paid to the salesperson who's selling that item. Commission um, is usually a percentage of the sales price. Some people work only on commission, straight commission we call it. Other people work on, um, they get a salary, they get a base pay, but then they also get a commission on top of that amount. Examples of some salespeople who work on commission include real estate agents who sell homes for a living, um, car sales, furniture sales, and there's others out there as well. To calculate commission, again, we are going to multiply the sales price by the commission rate in decimal form, and that would give you the amount of the, of the commission. So the amount of earnings that a person gets would be whatever their sales equaled times their particular commission rate. In this example, we're trying to find the commission for a real estate agent who sold a $300,000 home and their commission rate is 5%. So we can use this 10% benchmark again to figure out what 5% is. Since 10% is just taking the decimal, which here is at the end of the number, and we're going to shift it to the left one place. 10% of 300,000, let me write this so you can see it, 
ten percent of three hundred thousand equals thirty thousand. If you know that ten percent is thirty thousand, five percent would just be half of that number. So five percent of three hundred thousand is half of thirty thousand, which is fifteen thousand dollars. And in our last example, we have um, Mark who sold a motorcycle that cost twenty thousand dollars, twenty thousand eight hundred dollars, and he's earning ten percent commission on that sale. He also sold a sixty thousand dollar car that he gets five percent commission on. So we want to first find the commission for the motorcycle. Since it's um, ten percent, I know that I have let's see twenty thousand eight hundred. To find 10% of that number, we can take the decimal, which is at the end of the whole number, shift it to the left one place. That's a tenth of that number, 10%. So on the motorcycle, he earns $2,080 in commission. For the um, car, it was a $60,000 sale. He gets 5% commission. So we can still start by using 10% as a benchmark. We're going to shift the decimal to the left one place. So 10% would be 6,000, but because he's getting half of that 5%, we're going to cut 6,000 in half or divide it by two. So his commission on the car is $3,000. As far as which vehicle gets more commission, that would be the car. So even though his commission rate is smaller, 5%, because the amount of the sale is so much higher, he's still earning more commission on the car than he did on the motorcycle. Okay, to summarize, today you learned how to calculate tax, tip, and commission. As far as sales tax go, you need to know what the tax rate is, and you multiply that by the purchase price. And then that would give you the amount of taxes collected, which you just add on to the purchase price to determine the total. Tips are um, is an amount of money that someone earns based on their service. Again, you use multiplication to determine what the tip amount is. And commission is money that is um, earned based on sales price. Again, you would multiply whatever the commission rate is by the amount of the sale price to determine the commissions.